Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 7 under the topic state space model. The problem is obtain the transfer, sorry, obtain the state model for the mechanical system shown below and this is the given mechanical system, right. The system has one mass, one spring and one dash part. Here F of T is the applied force and the respective displacement is Y. So the first step is we have to draw the free body diagram right first draw the free body diagram and write the force balance equations and then we will move back to state variables right so the first step is we have to draw the free body diagram of this mass m so again when you look back you see count how many number of elements are connected with this mass we are having one two and three right apart from that there will be an another force which is produced by the mass itself so here totally four forces are acting on our mass m right one is the applied force f of t and other three are the opposing forces right one opposing force is produced by this mass m and another one is produced by k and another one is produced by f here the dashboard is represented as f so you keep it as such right so this is our free body diagram right from the free body diagram, we have to write the respect to expressions, right? So, by Newton's second law, applied force is equal to opposing force, right? So, here the applied force is F of T and the opposing forces are Fm, Fk and Ff, right? So, write down here. The next thing is we have to substitute the respect to values for the forces contributed by these terms. So, Fm, okay, the opposing force produced by the mass m is given by this expression m into d square y by dt square because the respect to displacement is y and the expression is m into d square y by dt square, right, plus Fk. This Fk is nothing but here the spring. So, the opposing force produced by the spring is given by k into y. An opposing force produced by the dash part F is given by F into dy by dt. Right. So, after framing the expression here, so just look at this equation. Okay. For this problem, we will be having only one expression like this. Right. Because there is only one mass and everything is done. So, here you see here I am having dy by dt and here I am having d square y by dt square. Right. So, the first thing is you see here I am having the respect to displacement y. So, this should be considered as a state variable. Therefore, x1 is taken as y here. Right. And when you look at this force balance equation, you see here we are having dy by dt and here d square y by dt square right so dy by dt is considered as another state variable so here i am making it as x2 so x2 is equal to dy by dt right because even we can write like this right that is x1 dot is nothing but dy by dt but if we write an expression like this then we can't substitute here right because we can't uh, enter double differentiation term here because the state variables are always single differentiator that is one time differentiator. So that is the reason here why we are taking this dy by dt as another state variable x2. Right. Now replace these values over here. So when you substitute and again as we all know f of t is nothing but our input it is represented as u. So u is equal to m into this d square y by dt square. So, dy by dt is nothing but this is our x2, right? So, d square y by dt square is x2 dot plus k into y, right? So, k into here y is nothing but our x1. And again, f into dy by dt is nothing but x2. So, here x2, right? So, just rearrange this expression and find out the value for x2 dot here, right? So, you see when you rearrange we need x2 dot right so i am keeping this expression as such and i am moving the remaining terms to the left hand side so that is a sign change right then i want only x2 dot so i am moving this m to the right hand side so i am getting an expression like this mark this as expression number one right now the next thing is you see we know the value of x1 is equal to y right 
so now we are going to take that expression x1 is equal to y so now i am differentiating so when you differentiate we will be having dx1 by dt equal to dy by dt right so dx1 by dt is nothing but this is x1 dot right that is x1 is equal to y when this dx is differentiated with respect to t it is nothing but x1 dot so which is equal to and dy by dt it is nothing but x2 right so finally we had framed our expression for state variables x1 dot and x2 dot so these are the respective state equations now we are going to represent it in the form of a matrix right so when you write you see here we will be having x1 dot and x2 dot and here you see there is no x1 term here so it is 0 and the coefficient of x2 is 1 and again here the coefficient of x1 is minus k by m and x2 is minus f by m right this gets multiplied by the respect to x1 x2 terms and the remaining is the first expression does not contain any u term whereas here x2 dot we are having a u by m term so here while when it is represented the first term has no u so it is 0 and the second expression has the coefficient of u is 1 by m so it is 1 by m of u right so finally we had arranged this expression in the form of a matrix and next we are going to proceed with the respect to output so here the displacement y is taken as the output right and as we already know y is equal to x1 so just frame expression accordingly coefficient of x1 is 1 here there is no x2 so it is 0 and again here x1 x2 right when you frame expression you see 1 into x1 is x1 plus 0 into x2 is 0 so y is equal to x1 right and name it as matrix number b now a and b together constitute the state model of the system right so here comes the end of the problem if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you